dudes. What are we gonna do? We're doing the fireworks show. Fireworks. These free American chairs. That's what's up. Scrap contact has a little scrap for us. Can't beat that. A little thrift scrap. Slide back by this place we got some metal the other week. It's a few pieces. I picked that up at a thrift store. Didn't record it. Tell you what, that's some good drywall. There's a bunch of cans in there. Check this out. Yeah. We'll go ahead and take this. I'll pull all these cans out later. I hate doing that, but it's free money. Well, we're in a dilemma at the moment. We got a little issue, which is a good issue, but an issue. I sell my uncle and, uh, I will hopefully show him in a minute. What's up, Jody? You're about to be on camera. He uh, got me on the phone the other day and kind of hooked up this little little deal. Or he was asking. Uh, he's got a flooring buddy, I guess it is. He's got a whole bunch of flooring and he wants it gone. Obviously me being me, you know, I'll take anything, especially for free. So that's what we're gonna do. Now the word on the street is, it's more than, a truckload so I was like well trailer let's let's use a trailer now I'm about to do that about to hook it all up clean it all off and get going right but but when I pulled the trailer here I didn't have the correct hitch ball or whatever so I bought one in which the ball I had to buy was like bigger it's one of the biggest ones you could have I guess now here is the issue that we have I have a hitch but no ball Cool, that's what we needed, right? Yes, and no. The problem here is, this hole's too small. Stupid ball won't go through it. And the other three hitches I have, hole's too small. So, now I need another hitch. I'm almost thinking about just going and buying one of those three, three-way hitches or whatever it is, or four-way, whatever they have. They might just buy them on them, because piss on all that. But anyway, it goes. I'm probably not gonna do that today. We'll just cruise over there and get this stuff. Get a truckload today, get a truckload tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not not really no big game plan. I say it's gotta be gone by the end of the week, so we've got time. It's only Monday. Fourth of July here in a few days. That'll be fun. I was actually planning on taking a scrap run today, so who knows? I guess we'll go get that and then looks like a storm's a coming. So I guess we'll come back and offload all that into the building and load up for some scrap life. So that's what's going on. There's our dilemma we got going on right now. And just uh, another example of how you never really know what's coming your way. That's, this is interesting to me. I, I never, I never expected flooring, but, but I'm sure we'll find something to do with it. Sure, we'll find something to do with it. Sorry, right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, monkey. With that, I gotta take out the rest of this crap out of the back of my truck. Out of the hardwood. You think I wouldn't record? You think I wouldn't record? That's my uncle. I'll tell you what. 
Look at the camera and tell them what we're doing today, T-Bone. We're getting that free stuff. This is, uh, this is keep life, keep life. <laughs> Got so much stuff, we had to get a damn storage unit. There's, there's hardwood in here for days. We gotta go back tomorrow with the trailer and get a whole bunch more. Woo. All right, so update on the current situation. Um, we got a storage unit. I only had enough. This truck could only really handle one pallet. I don't even know if that was a full pallet. I don't know. But this truck could only really handle, or we felt comfortable with the one pallet of hardwood, and that was a lot of hardwood. So storage unit acquired, all that's loaded up. You can't really tell, but I uh, went home and tore all the sides off my trailer and I've loaded this truck up as much crap as I can stuff into it at the moment. But uh, tomorrow we're gonna go back with the trailer and load the other pallet of hardwood. There's like two pallets of tile. I don't know, there's, there's more stuff. That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, yeah. But right now we're gonna go to the scrapyard, so that's good. Get a few bucks back. This will probably pay for what I paid for the storage unit, hopefully. But uh, anyway, it's hot. Probably can't even tell on this camera, but this shirt is soaked. I'm soaked. It's hot. It's 90 degrees, and I'm not made for this anymore. So let's go scrap. Left the yard. Uh, brain's fried at the moment. What do we have? Six, like 660 pounds. I think it was 40 bucks. Not bad. Paid 45 for the storage unit. So I've really only spent five bucks today on that. If you look at it that way, I don't really know how you look at scrap money. I mean, anything that you do to make money, you obviously have to count gas and distance and and this and that and that and this. But me, I just. I spend and I put it back and I spend and I put it back and I spend money and I put money back in and I spend some and then I put some back. So I don't really, I don't, I don't know. This is like a hobby, so I don't really count what the money is and what it isn't. I've only been gone for 30 minutes, so 40 bucks in half an hour. You really can't beat that <laughs> at all. So that's what we got going on. I'm gonna get back home and finish working on this trailer. I bit off a little more than I could chew. I love you, Jody. I love you to death. But geez louise, you get me into some stuff. But uh, yeah, so let's, let's go back home and let's go jump in the pool first and then let's go do some stuff. All right, so those of you that have followed around and seen the trailer when I bought it, check this out. It's dirty right now, but I took the sides off. Big gate still back there. I'm about to get all that. And put it over there and then tomorrow probably gonna scrap all of this I'm uh after we get home and get all this hardwood and stuff I'm just gonna scrap all of this because it's time to clean up and start over at least that's what I think so that's what we got going on I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off and uh probably see you guys in the morning cuz really ain't much more gonna go on tonight more stuff. Oh yeah. Taylor ain't got the sides on it. How's she look? Trying to get all this tile and wood on the truck. Kind of strapped down. Man said there might be a pallet over here in this dumpster. You know I'm not gonna turn the dumpster down. Hey, he was right. Got us a pallet. Boys, this is a 100% sketch. That is a lot of stuff. I underestimated. People tell you to come get free stuff. You don't expect stuff like this. 
crazy. Hopefully we make it home. If we don't, it's all gonna fall off in the road and I don't know nothing about it. I feel for any of you guys who's a construction worker and has to do this kind of junk. Look at this. Here's our storage unit. Jeez Louise. That's ridiculous, boys. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go get in the pool. I'm done, so. All right, guys, we're gonna call it quits here. We got a lot of work ahead of us, even though that was a lot of work there. Uh, I'm gonna do some sorting, make some calls, figure some things out. I'm gonna use some of that hardwood, maybe some of the tile, not sure yet. We'll figure that out. But uh, today I'm just gonna get in the pool and play. But uh, I love you, Uncle Jody. You're the man. Couldn't make it through life without you. You, uh, you hooked us up this time. This is a crazy haul. A lot of work, but it was crazy. Appreciate you, my man. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. It was pretty freaking epic. Probably the biggest, biggest score yet. I estimate that room to be five, six grand. Will I make that? Probably not. I, uh, I'm in it for the quick buck, so we'll make whatever we make on it. But that's about what I estimate that room's value to be, <laughs> honestly, for me. But that's what we got going on. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, or don't.